Can we hear it start up? Sure can. So it's a one piece tilt front end now. It's a 66 Fairlane. This is my office right here. Hi, Randy Bybee, Awesome Cars Forever. I'm here today with a good friend of mine, Rod Humphrey. You might know him better as R. Humphrey, who has his own wood turning channel on YouTube. And he is also one of the people instrumental in helping me get started in doing my videos. And he's going to tell us today about his 1979 Chevrolet pickup. Hello, everybody. Well, like Randy said, this is my 1979 Chevy Custom Deluxe K10. Picked it up about uh, six months ago, I think. You were with me, Randy. Right. Yeah, about six months ago. Um, it's far from perfect, but I sure like it. I got a really good deal on it. Uh, if you like, we can walk around, take a look at it. Let's walk around, take a look at it. Yeah. Um, pretty much what you see is what you get. It's got uh, It's got a little bit of weight reduction around the <laughs> yeah. You know, around the wheel wells. Not that much though. No, it's it's not bad at all. Yeah. You can see down here, maybe zoom in on my, my body work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, um, tape always helps. Yes, yes. Uh, I don't know how that got there to be honest with you, but uh so it's a it's a dual tank rig. Mm -hmm. Uh it's got a couple of side tanks or uh, what are they called? Saddle tanks? I don't know. They're side tanks. Uh, one of which doesn't work. I found out the hard way when I ran out of gas. <laughs> um, overall, it's in really good shape. It's got a couple of crazy looking uh, mufflers sticking out here, or tailpipes sticking out. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna change those out. I'm not crazy about that look. I'd like a little more traditional straight straight pipes. Right. Um, I've had some welding work done uh, on the tailgate because it was uh, just busted off. One of the pivot points was busted off. I had that fixed. Um, let's see. It's got, uh, is it ion or eon? I don't know, but that's what the wheels are. Uh, Those are nice looking mag wheels. They're not bad, not bad. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to keep them or not. I might go with a more traditional old school look but that seems to be a popular look on these uh, these old Chevys they go well with it yeah yeah we'll see how that goes I'm, I'm gonna do a lot of upgrading and, and the tires and wheels yeah. if I upgrade those that will be the last step give us some good shoes The hood's been changed out, uh, not by me, but you can see up in the, the venting there, it's it's uh, it's got that old school orangey red looking color. So I'll have to get some spray paint out and fix that. That'll work. That'll work. Now, uh, red, that, that, the headlights have been changed out too? Yeah, those look like bug eyes. i got to do something <laughs> about those too. But you can see... Uh, you know that that's going to be a more more traditional headlight, probably projectors though. Um, but I've got to got to do a lot of work on the bezel. Mm -hmm. Swap out the grill. The grill busted up here. It's still in pretty good shape right. though. I mean, overall, well, I'm pretty happy with it. While we're here, I want to thank you for your service. You are a retired marine. I am. Thank you. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. Let's have a look inside the interior. All right.
Now, like I said, this is a custom deluxe, so it's got all the uh, electronic controls there for the window and locks. And then it's got actual bucket seats with a console in the middle. The interior appears to be in really good shape, too. Yeah, it's, it's overall, this, this truck's in really good shape. The, uh, if you look up there at the dashboard, the speedometer and the uh, tachometer don't work. And I'm going to swap those out with uh, original looking parts. As well as changing out the whole bezel. And then the, the door panels are a little bit uh, sun worn on top. So right, I'll swap right. those out as well. But overall, this 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 interior is in good shape. It is in pretty good shape. I'm pretty happy with it. The carpet's great. Yeah. Yeah. The steering wheel in there, if you look at that crazy looking thing, uh, I'm definitely getting rid of that. <laughs> well, when you get this all done, we're going to do a, you know, a follow-up video. Yeah, absolutely. And, no problem. And, uh, no problem. Let's take a look at that big 400 powerhouse. Like Randy just said, it's a 400 small block. It is numbers matching. Right now it's got uh, chrome valve covers on it to make it go a little bit slower. And then uh, it does have the, the rusty version of headers. That's a, uh, I think it's a Holley uh, 625, a low power four barrel. I see headers. Yeah, like I said, that's the. I, I think the brand is Rust <laughs> or Rust E, one of the two. But you have other headers. I do. That's I've got headers put on it anyway. Yep. So. Yep. If you look down here at the frame, the frame is in that good a condition all the way back on both sides. Really? Oh yeah, it's great. Yeah, this is this is quite a find. A nice survivor. I mean, there's it it's, it's got its, you know. I do have the original valve covers, uh, so I'll be putting those back on. I want to. I want to keep it as original as I can. Mm -hmm. Well, we have to hear it run. Sure. Sounds real good. Thank you. And you know, I don't see the bed's in good shape too. I mean, there's the bed is in good shape. There's a little bit of weight reduction in the in the back corners, but that's easily fixed. Right, right. Well, overall, especially for 1979, this is in good shape. It really is. I'm I'm quite pleased with it, and. Uh, I mean, it's a great canvas to start, you know, mm -hmm. to start with, if you want to think uh, art-wise. Right, this, right. In my opinion, this is this is an automotive work of art. I love this truck. Oh, yeah. I love the old K10, C10s. Oh, yeah. They made them right. Yep. 79 not, might not be a glory year for, for, <laughs> right. for automotive innovation, right. but... Uh, they made this truck for a long time. They had a, a, a long run with the square body. Very popular. Well, there was a reason for that. They, yeah. It was a good good truck. Absolutely. Uh, folks, I'm going to put a link to Rod's channel in the description and flash it across the screen towards the end of the video. And I, Rod, I want to thank you for doing this video today. I really appreciate it. My and pleasure. I really, really appreciate you helping me get started. So Absolutely. My pleasure, brother. I hope... Everyone will subscribe and take a look at Rod's channel 
and we'll see you next time on Awesome Cars Forever. Thanks.